Hello everybody, Chappie here. Today we're going to install and review the SW Motec bar risers for the F750 GS. So stick around. Here you can see my shoulders are slightly rolled forward and my back is not straight for the stock risers on the bike. So here I'm using a T45 Torx bit to loosen the bolt on the handlebar bracket that's holding the handlebars in. And we want to make sure that we loosen all the bolts evenly so we don't warp the bracket. So what we're doing is we're just breaking the bolts slightly to get them loose. And then once they're loose enough that we can take them all out with our, just our fingers, We'll put the wrench away and uh, remove all the bolts. So we're done with the wrench. Now let's speed things up a little bit. So luckily my bracket is stuck to my handlebars, which will make uh, reinstallation a lot easier. So let's get our risers. Both risers are clearly marked left and right, and they each have a dimple that goes towards the back of the bike. So carefully move the handlebars out of the way, being careful not to scratch your TFT display. We're going to place the risers to the left on the left side, the R on the right side, making sure that we put the dimple on the bottom towards the back. So place your handlebars in, and Kind of try and line it up the best you can. We're going to use the new bolts provided to help line up the risers. And we want to make sure that when we put these rise bolts in the new risers, that we put them in by hand. We don't want to use a wrench. Using a wrench, um, if you're cross-threaded, it's just going to ruin the threads in your uh, handlebar stock. And here triple clamps so you don't want to be taking it back to the dealer and telling them to messed up your threads. So once we get all the bolts in, we're going to make sure that they're, they're moving freely. If you can't turn them, back it out, wiggle the handlebars around a little bit and get it so they go in nice and smooth. Once we get them all turning smooth, we'll grab the extension for a little extra leverage and to help make them go in quicker and we can even use the wrench but let's speed this process up So we're going to use a wrench here and we're snugging the bolts down just till they touch the handlebar bracket. We don't want to tighten them because we want to tighten them evenly a little bit at a time. So all I'm doing right now is making sure that they're all snug uh, down to where they're touching. I'm using the wrench because it makes it go a lot quicker. They're, and what I'm actually doing is I'm holding the extension because if I wasn't, the wrench would just go back and forth, back and forth with the bolt. It wouldn't click. So now that we're flush, we're going to tighten the top ones. Just a little bit on each one until we get them good and snug. Then we'll move to the back. You always want to tighten your handlebars in the front first and in the back last. And then once we get them all tightened up, we need to make sure 
that we can move the handlebars back and forth. But so now we're going to turn the handlebars side to side and make sure we don't touch anything. So first to the left, not touching the windshield. To the right, you can see there's plenty of clearance, not touching the tank. Looks like we did a pretty good job. Okay, so here's with the handlebar risers installed. And as you can see, my shoulders are back and my back is straight. So here you can tell the difference between the stock risers on the left and the SW Motec risers on the right. And you can see on the right, I'm more upright and my shoulders aren't slumped back. So for the review part, I've had these uh, bar risers installed for two or three weeks now. And uh, I, I really like them. I mean, I'm so thankful to the mechanic up there at Max that uh, pointed out I should look into it. Because uh, it makes a big difference. I'm even more upright. Uh, I don't feel like I'm reaching when I sit back on the seat all the way. And I'm six foot tall. I have long arms and long legs. So, I mean, sitting back in the seat is a little more comfortable on, on my legs. But uh, I always felt like I was reaching forward for the bars. But with the bar risers, they, uh, they come up and back a little bit. The bar risers are 30 millimeter. So I would definitely give it a thumbs up. If you're interested in these, I would check out Twisted Throttle. They're out of Rhode Island. I ordered my bar risers and I got them like the next day. I ordered them on a Tuesday, had them on a Wednesday, and they were in by Saturday. So hey, I hope you liked this video. If you did, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment. Let me know if you have this bike. What mods have you done?